hi guys welcome back to a new video after a very very long time so in this video i'm going to share my workflow on how i use ai to create websites uh, so this is going to be a very short video i'm i'm going to try it try to keep it as short as possible so without any further ado let's get started so recently i created this new website using completely using ai from coding to deployment everything completely using ai so how did i do that i'm going to show you the exact process so let me just show you this website so this is the website that i have created completely using ai from coding to deployment entirely within five to seven minutes entirely like the entire end-to-end -end process completely using ai and it is free of cost so let me just show you how the website works this is the website and this is the website I have uh, hosted it on Netlify as you can see it is Netlify.app so it is Netlify is a free hosted hosting service you can pay for it but initially it is free it will just do the job you can host one or two I think two websites for free of cost right so let me just show you how the website works so basically the purpose of this website is to create or generate roast AI roast of your github profile so let me just put in my github profile over here just put in the username and hit enter and it will generate a roast for you so basically I'm using Gemini API Google Gemini API in the backend to create the roast alright so now you can see this is the roast and you can download the roast if I click on download it will download the roast and as you can see I can tweet this picture or share this picture on social media share this entire image on social media and uh, you know they can see that this is my github roast so basically this is the purpose of this website and this entire roast is created using Gemini API and I have integrated the API key from Google AI studio and it is free of cost alright so let me now show you how I created this website the entire step by step process and the workflow so now for this entire process for uh, for for like uh, for the AI I need an AI to code right I have already mentioned that I used an AI to code the end to end from uh, coding the entire website from scratch to deployment everything is done by AI within five to seven minutes so what did I use what service did I use so I I used bolt.io which is uh, a product of stack blitz so what is exactly StackBlitz? StackBlitz is an online IDE and it is used for different purposes as well. Let me just show you StackBlitz.com. I am already logged into my dashboard. So this is the view you are getting inside StackBlitz.com. But if I show you on incognito mode, uh, this is how the website looks like. So you can create a shareable environment within milliseconds. Uh, you can code in different languages uh, you can have uh, you can code back end and all those stuff front end back end full stack creative mobile and VR vanilla and all those stuff so you can just check this out so stack blitz, uh, stack blitz has a product of its own which is called bolt.new now you can see this is the thing called bolt.new if you click on it you'll get to this page you can it, it pretty much looks like v0 if you don't know v0 vice versa it is a similar thing uh, where you can prompt and create the front end of a website but this is something that you can create full stack web apps and you can also deploy within the within the interface as well it, it's just one click deploy you just have to click on the deploy button and it will deploy it to Netlify and you can claim the site and just do anything with it all right so this is my stack blitz uh, this is my bold thing bold uh, project so what you need to do is you need to create an account on stackblitz.com once you create an account you can just uh, uh, you can create an account using github as well but you can create an account using your gmail as well doesn't matter so i've created an account using github and after you create an account you can use bold.new for free it has some amount of tokens for a day and uh, after a day it completely renews then you can use it again but the one drawback of this uh, bolt.new is you don't get to see how much token you have remaining 
so that is a problem i think they can update it they are constantly updating it so that might not be a problem for very long but uh, yeah this is the site so this is the prompt i have given how i have uh, how i have prompted to get the exact specific output that i want so basically for that i have used perplexity so this is the prompt i have given so inside per inside perplexity i have given this prompt to per perplexity to generate prompt for bold.new so that uh, i don't need to explain bold.new again and again and uh, debug the stuff and to and to re-edit the prompt again and again if i re-edit the prompt again and again on bold.new there's uh, there's a chance that uh, my coupons will get reduced my tokens sorry not coupons my tokens will get reduced and i don't have a track of tokens on bold.new and uh, if i run out of tokens I, I will have to wait for a day again to like uh, get the tokens renewed and then i can use it right so what i did is i used perplexity to create a prompt to bold dot for bold.new and i copy pasted that prompt and i tried to generate the app so this is what the prompt looks like for perplexity i want to build an application where a user can enter their github username and get detailed roast based on their github profile repository stars etc the roast should be detailed and the personality should be assigned based on the roast the roast should be funny and there should be a, also a genuine feedback the website should have modern purple and blue user interface the typography should be good it should have gen z vibe the user can download the generated roast for them as image to share on the social media below the generated roast use small using small font size uh, built by ankuran ghosh should also be mentioned provide me with the best prompt to feed bolt.new to build this application then uh, perplexity gave me this prompt i just copy pasted the prompt from here to here right and i copy pasted the prompt to bold.new after i copy pasted the prompt it created an initial version of of this website as you can see it created a website which looked pretty different from this one this is the final version that you are getting to see on the preview right and this is the chat chat history right so i also have my this thing it it gave a mock review because uh, it wanted my gemini api so after that i give my gemini api and then after creating the after giving the gemini api it created an entire new preview for the website integrating the gemini api there were some problems at the back end and i told it to fix it i just told it to fix it i didn't know what was what was the problems what were the problems it showed me the problem but i didn't know uh, exactly what were the problems i just clicked on fix it and it fixed the entire thing and then i clicked on deploy it it created it uh, it's just in one click deploy i created i clicked on deploy and it gave me this deploy this application and it built the application using the command it picks npx byte build or vite build whatever you call it and it deployed to netify so i can click on this and open it open the website that this is the public url and then they have also given me a new url to claim the site and i just did that i clicked on this and i logged into netlify and i got the site and i claimed the site as my own so yeah this is the entire process on how i started creating uh, ai websites using bold.new so i'll be creating more of these websites and i'll be updating you more so uh, if you want more content on this go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon thank you for watching